Hello guys, welcome to another video of Nerdy Tech Tips channel. Today we are going to have a look on an issue that most of you might have experienced or might be experiencing at this very moment. That when you have a separate GPU plugged in PCI slot and using that as your primary display, it works really great. However, if you do a lot of work related to video editing or you are a YouTuber or you are a streamer, you do require more than one monitor. Most video editors out there use more than two monitors let's say you have run out of display ports on your gpu card but you do see a spare hdmi port on your motherboard or want to plug usb to hdmi converter and you have done everything correct and still not getting any display it's because when you insert a gpu in your system it automatically disables the integrated graphics on your cpu now on very older motherboards you do not have that option to use pci express and integrated graphics card at the same time for multi GPU support. But now all the motherboards have this option and has to be enabled manually. Now this is only going to work if you have integrated graphic card. Uh, sorry, I mean to say integrated graphic card on your CPU. For an example, Intel F series CPU do not have integrated graphic card. Now let's get started with this tutorial. So over here is my computer setup. It's very simple, two monitors, and I'll show you how they are actually plugged. So in my uh, computer system, as you can see, there is my graphic card, and it's got main monitor plugged in via HDMI cable. And it's perfectly working fine for me at the moment. And now second HDMI is actually plugged in on my motherboard, and it has no output. So to make the second display work, we need to go to BIOS settings of our motherboard. Now I click on advanced on the top menu bar. And then we're going to click on chipset configuration. Once you're in there, primary graphics adapter is PCI Express by default. And if you're wondering, there will be an option for the multi GPU support. It's actually not there, do not get confused, it's a little bit further down. You have to just explore a bit and go scroll down. So over here you can see one GPU multi monitor is disabled. Read the description that's what we wanted and we have to enable it. Once you enable it and you save the settings and restart your PC, you will see your second display will have an output. And that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel. 